Yo, what is going on guys? This is EJP3 Games, and welcome to episode number 11 of Pokemon Red and Blue Randomized Nuzlocke versus with my boy, Jetpack. What's going on you guys? Jetpack Ahoy here, and we're here for that Snake Eyes episode. Snake Eyes. Double ones. Yeah. Yeah. Yas, bitch. <laughs> Yas, queen. <laughs> Alright, so if you guys missed the uh, last episode, make sure you guys go check out the link down below. Um, not a whole lot changed. I didn't get any new team members or anything. Um, I got a couple good encounters, but I don't think they're worth adding to the team. Um, I, I got a if, you guys, if you guys have any team suggestions, you know, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I got a Graveler. Okay. So that's a thing. <laughs> Alright. I am ready to uh, right. start when you are. Here we go. In three, two... One and a go. All right. Um. Let's see. I need to heal up. So elegant yet cozy. Mm. <laughs> that describes me perfectly. Uh, I was gonna say that describes a. Uh, um. What's that? What's that thing called? Um. Yo, I can't. I can't think of what it's called. Like a like a lazy boy recliner. No, it's um a snuggie. That's it. Oh. Elegant and cozy, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'd say elegant. I think I would go more classy. Eh, you know. It doesn't get any classier than a snuggie. This is true. I, I I'm personally just a, a blanket kind of guy, but. <laughs> you know, you know what elegant and cozy really describes perfectly. This series. Yeah, but no. Um, I was gonna say <laughs> um, this amazing uh, DX Racer office chair that I don't have because I can't afford. Mm, yeah. Hit me up. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you want to donate me a couple hundred dollars. <laughs> DX Racer hit me up with that sponsorship, though. That's what I'm saying. Um, Let's see. No, if I've, you got know, like we... a, I've got like a knockoff brand, kind of. It's just one I found on Amazon. It Like, it looks like a DX Racer, but it's nowhere yeah. near as comfortable. Actually, uh, I figured out what I want to do. I don't think I want to actually, like, buy one. I want to literally... Well, I, I have to buy parts, but I want to buy, like, an actual bucket seat that was meant for a car mm -hmm. and like turn it into an office chair okay because like i feel yeah, like that would be, be to do. unique and kind of cool i got a tm for supersonic what kind of bullshit yeah i i'll probably have this chair for a while i i might get something oh, from a, maybe a different brand I maybe not the x racer but we'll, we'll see it may be worth the investment if i have the money okay I need to find the room that has the bed that I can sleep in because I have a poisoned Pokemon and no antidotes. Oh uh, shit. Okay. I know one of these rooms is technically is like supposed to be mine that we can sleep in, right? That's yeah, it should be. Is on the f I don't know. I'm just gonna run back to the Pokemon Center. To hell with it. I'm just night shading everything. Ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. I'm not it's trying like the to only hunt move down this I room. Have. I'm not trying to hunt down this room that may or may not exist. I'm like 95% sure there's a room that we can sleep in. But I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I think it's there and like the uh, rocket hideout. Yeah. I mean, not the rocket hideout, but the Silphco. Yeah, yeah. The I knew what you. I knew what trio. you meant. I was picking up what you're putting down. It's I level could, 13. I could smell down. what you stepped in. Yeah. <laughs> oh. There we go. All right, we're healed. We're Gucci. Burp. All right, Venus Crow's level twenty-one, and the last Pokemon he's got is a Tentacruel. So uh, I was I was surfing around the YouTubes the other day, right, and uh, just mm -hmm. watching like random videos, and I, there was a couple videos of like. Gordon Ramsay actually liked the food. I was like, okay, this sounds like it could be entertaining. Because, I mean, normally he's a dick who hates everything. Yeah. But, like, uh, it was, like, there was this one person, this one chef, that I was like, okay, he's definitely hamming it up for the camera. Because, like, he tasted some food that Gordon Ramsay made. It was like, what the hell was it even? I think it was like a, like a piece of fish or something. It literally was only seasoned with salt and pepper. And wow. like the the chef like took a bite of it and was like, oh my god! Like started crying. Like I was like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Like I don't care how good a piece <laughs> of food is, I'm not about to cry over it. Uh, that's how I feel about pizza. But you cry when you eat pizza? I do every time. 
Like any pizza or just good pizza? All pizza. Okay. So, I mean, like, pizza is one of those things, kind of like ice cream, where, like, there's no such thing as bad pizza, there's just better pizza. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> In my opinion. What, like, what is your uh, favorite place to order pizza from? Uh, like, chain restaurants? Uh, anything. I mean, or both. It could be, like, a, a local and a, a, or a chain. Um, so, if I had to go with chain, I would say, it depends, actually, because, I mean, I switch back and forth between Pizza Hut and Domino's a lot. Um, I like... A very unpopular opinion incoming here, um, but I actually like Domino's Pizza better than Pizza Hut's. Yo, so do I. Oh, there we go. Cool, lit. Everybody really else, everybody like... else seems to like Pizza Hut's pizza better, and I'm just like, nah. I, I like Papa John's a lot too. I like Papa John's too. They're just expensive. They are. Um, whenever I was going to school, uh, there was Papa John's like right on the way home from the bar, so we always used to like yeah. pre-order pizza. <laughs> nice. <laughs> By the time it was like closing time, and go get it. See, my, my big thing is, like, I like the pizza better at Domino's, but I really like their sides that I really like from both of them. Um, Yo, like, I like, I, I love the wings from Pizza Hut. Oh, man. Um, but I really like, like, the cheesy breads and the pasta from Domino's. Yeah, they do have some good cheesy bread. So I just found a TM22, which is normally Solar Beam. Yeah. Um, and it was randomized to Thunder Punch, but That's Electro Buzz can't learn it. Oh, because he can't learn Solar Beam. Shit. Yep. That's so bummy. My uh, weeping bell can learn it, but I'm probably not going to teach it. To that. Oh, weeping like bell that's... with thunder punch. <laughs> yeah, like bro, you ain't even got no hands. He can take care of those flying types, though. That's true. I mean, there's that. But um, as far as like local places um, that aren't chain restaurants, there's uh, a place here called Wall Street Pizza. Mm -hmm. It's like stupid expensive, but the food is amazing. Yeah, we've got um, a place near me called, I think it's called like Waffle Boys or something. It's pretty good. They've got like some kind of double decker pizza. Interesting. You had me at double decker. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's basically almost like just like two slices of pizza on top of each other. It's weird. That sounds amazing. It's pretty good though. Um,. But, like, my favorite pizza that I've ever had, um, I grew up in Bakersfield, California, this little know-nothing okay. town out in Southern California, right? And uh, with, there's this place down there, shout-outs to these guys, uh, Cataldo's Pizzeria. Cataldo's Pizzeria. And these guys were legit, dude. Like, the pizza was amazing, and they had, like, this special pizza. You could buy. It was, like, 85 bucks or something like that. But this pizza, I swear to God, um, was, like, three or four feet wide. Hmm. by three or four feet tall and it was just a huge pizza and the last time we ordered it because um, they had this really good um like alfredo sauce like chicken alfredo so uh, pizza it was just yeah. amazing Ooh, and I, just found uh, moonstone. I come from a big family i have uh two brothers and an older sister so that we were a family of six and like i remember the last time we ordered this the only car that we had at the time my mom was driving a 1973 volkswagen beetle yeah. And the pizza was so big that it didn't fit in the car. So, that's, that's uh, a little wild. Yeah, and so what we did was we sat it on top of the roof, and I was in the passenger seat, my mom was driving, and we each had a hand out the window holding the pizza to the roof of the car <laughs> on the way ridiculous. home. <laughs> that's so dangerous, too. Like, yeah. I wouldn't do that with pizza. I like pizza I, they, they li we lived, like, four blocks away from the place. Uh, okay, that's not bad then. So, I mean, otherwise, I, like, if we had to go on the highway or something, I would not risk my pizza in that fashion. Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> um, I think some of the better pizza I've had is, uh, in, like, a lot of the pizza places in Chicago are pretty good. Yeah. The deep dish pizza. Um, you know, it's I'm, like, I'm not a huge fan of deep dish pizza for some reason. It's, uh, I think it's just because of how, like, oily or greasy it tends to be. Yeah. Yeah, it but just kind of soaks it up. Yeah, I mean, because it's, it's like a... It, generally speaking, the ones that I've had anyways, obviously I've never been to Chicago, um, where they specialize in that kind of stuff. Like, the, the dough that they use tends to be really bready. And yeah. so it, like, soaks up those oils. Like, cause it's very porous, and it soaks it up, and it's just a, a really greasy experience. And I mean, Dude, that, we, that... Some people like it. Yeah, some, like, uh, some bagel bites or something sounds pretty good, Yo, to be I honest. Yo, I love bagel bites, dog. 
I love making I haven't had it in so long. I love making homemade bagel pizzas, like full size bagels with like yeah, pizza sauce I used to see that and cheese and pepper. I like doing that at home because like I have an eight year old and a six year old, and so we'll all make that, like all we'll pile into the kitchen and just have fun. We'll make we'll turn making dinner into an activity. Yeah, I mean that's the best way to do it. Got that you know that cool uh, family dynamic thing happening every once in a while. Yeah, I don't get I don't get the chance to do that too often. Uh, let's deposit that. I mean, deposit you can make you can make stuff. pizza bagels with your puppy. I could. Like you should get you should be one of those puppy owners that get like you know like the baby Bjorn carrier things where like they sit on oh, your yeah. chest and get one of those and put your puppy in it. I could. He and probably then, wouldn't like it too much though. No, he wouldn't like it at all. To be honest with you. He doesn't mind being picked up, but after a while, he's just like, "All right, let me let me go." <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Sell this nugget I got from the Nugget Bridge. So I've, I've got like nine grand. This battle took forever, but I just killed a level twenty-three Raichu with a level fourteen Graveler. Jesus. My right, only I'm attack was tackle. going to take on Misty. My only attack was tackle, but all he had was Thunder Wave and uh, Thunder Shock, so like, he couldn't touch me. Oh, and Growl. But he couldn't touch me, and I was like, I want this experience for Graveler. So I just barreled through it. I don't know which direction. This way? Yeah, all my Pokemon are over level 20, so I should be in pretty good shape. Oh, yeah. I think, well, Misty only has two Pokemon, and her highest level yeah. is level 21. Also, also, with my Electabuzz knowing Solar Beam. It, yeah, uh, except she's not actually going to have water types. I know. But he's <laughs> still pretty, like, because his attack is, like, stupid high. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I'm just like one hit KOing everything with that. Oh, he's got a Caterpie. I better watch out. Whoa. That's terrifying. Yo, Butterfree's sprite in this game is actually pretty good. Dude, so, like, low-key, like, I didn't include this. Or I, didn't, I don't even think I talked about it. I may have talked about it one time um, in Crystal. So you know how you get the, uh, the shiny Gyarados encounter? Yes. Uh, well, you know, obviously in a randomizer, it's randomized. Mm -hmm. Whenever I went to record, that's why I was starting off with that first encounter. And, like, low-key for a minute, I, like, forgot the encounter was supposed to be shiny. <laughs> and it popped up shiny, and I, like, freaked out. <laughs> so I just immediately was like, all right, I'm starting this episode over. <laughs> I was like, I cannot look like that big of a fool. You should have used... Did you use that in your funny moments thing? Um, I don't remember. I don't think I, I need did. To, I need to go back and watch that again. I completely again forgot about it. Because that would be amazing. You should, like you definitely should have included that. I should have, but I probably forgot. Yo, Smeagol just learned Rock Throw. It is time. <laughs> Yo, I have a Pokemon that actually learns moves. What the hell? Uh, that's what I'm saying. I think uh, my Victory Bell learned some moves, but other than that, none of my other ones do. <laughs> just rocking out with what I got. All right, yeah, I'm man. battling Misty. So that level five uh, graveler that I got in the last episode is now level seventeen. Yeah, this is definitely worth training up. I'd say graveler is definitely worth training up. Oh yeah, I would agree. Golem's a really good Pokemon, especially like now that I'll actually get to use it. I remember when I was a kid. When I was a kid, uh, I had nobody to trade with. Ever. Right. So like, I never got to have you know a golem or a gra or a, a an Alakazam or a Gengar or a Machamp. Yeah, yeah, I had a, a, cool a cousin Pokemon. when I was younger that also played, so I got I got lucky there. Every once in a while, I, I was able to. Well, I had a cousin that played too, but he lived uh, like sixty miles away from me. And I rarely I rarely got to see him. So like every once in a while, I was I, got, I was able to convince one of my friends um, to bring their Game Boy to school because I had my own. I even, I even went out and bought a link cable. Yeah. So like, I, I had a link cable, and so I would bring my Game Boy and my red and my blue. And on the bus, I would borrow his Game Boy and trade amongst myself. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, like, taking my Game Boy and, like, my Pokemon cards and stuff to school all the time. I remember getting them taken away in grade school. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, I actually, when I graduated high school, um, or it was either when I graduated high school or graduated college, I had my third grade teacher sent me a, like, uh, congratulations card, and it had Pokemon cards in it. That's amazing. Like, they they, they weren't the same... They were like newer ones, so they obviously weren't like the original like base set ones. I had whenever I was younger. Yeah, but the but thought like, behind it, it was is so amazing. Cool. That's awesome. I remember like way back when. I don't even know if teachers. I don't think teachers can do this anymore. Like when they would take something from you and keep it until the end of the school year. Yeah. 
Like, oh, they used to just like take it and keep it, and they'd be like, "All right, you got to buy it back." And I'm like, oh, "Yeah, it's like the they would have a drawer full of shit that they stole from students throughout the year." Yep. I don't think so. I don't think you know people are super sensitive about shit now, so there's no way that kind of stuff's happening now. But no, I got my like, gym badge by the way. Nice. See, you're catching up. I mean, I mean that's terrible, dude. I gotta stop being such a nice guy in versus <laughs> like. I don't know how to be competitive, okay? <laughs> Yo, you're over here speaking French now. Bonjour, Jet. What was... T okay, that's the SS ticket. TM-11 is minimized. That's... I'm probably gonna sell that. That could be useful. It could be. It could save you in a fight. I might hold on to it then. Alright, I'm gonna battle. We'll get this randomized TM for dig. See, the thing that's scary is, like, I'm a, I'm still a little ways ahead of you, but you're catching up to me in levels, and that kind of scares me. Yeah, like, I got a couple Pokemon at level 22, and then some at level 21. Like, my highest level Pokemon <clears throat> is level 25. I'm staying well balanced out here. The only thing I hate is like polyworlds and stuff. They just keep using hypnosis and putting me to sleep. That's it's been like so the frustrating. Bane of my existence. Dude, sleep is terrible in first gen. Because like you don't even get to try to use a move. You just have to hope and pray that you wake up, and then next turn you can attack. Yeah, and then you don't get <laughs> outsped and put right back to sleep. Yep. So broken. God, I love Dodrio's sprite, man. Magmar. He looks like he's wearing some wicked, like, eyeshadow, but it looks so good. Oh. Uh, go ahead and use Confused Ray on this Magmar. Yo, you had a Knit Arena and a Knit Arena. Look at you. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm doing the rival battle on the SSN. And you are my rival, sir. Alright. Yeah, that went a lot smoother than the last one. I thought my puppy was chewing on the carpet for a second. I about <laughs> had to, like, get out of my chair. What are you gonna do? Yell at him? Yeah, I know. He, <laughs> he wouldn't listen. He's deaf. Oh, I'm a dick for saying that. <laughs> Make fun of my deaf dog. Bastard. <laughs> oh no, the internet's gonna tear me a new one for that. TM28 was self-destruct. So Who do you uh, think you are? Who the fuck? <laughs> did you, right, say, did you say it was self-destruct? Yeah. That's a yikes. You know what? I honestly might do. I might just leave my Dragonair with the uh, the daycare, daycare lady and then come get it at the end of the game. Yeah, you could do that. If you remember yeah. to come pick it up, it could be highly useful. I, you know, I'll write it down. <laughs> And then it'll, I'll probably throw away that piece of paper and... Oh, I just killed my encounter in this route. Oh, yeah, I wasn't even thinking about it. This is a Parasect, <laughs> so, you know, I wasn't I've done upset. that before. I was just, like, kind of, like, in the zone. Goodbye, SSA. All right. Uh, go ahead and take my Mushu daycare, man. Whoa, that sounds like the beginning of a really bad porn. Well. Hey there, Mr. Daycare, man. You want some Mushu pork? Yes, please. <laughs> Yo, so this chick wants to trade a Moltres for a Ditto. <laughs> yeah, I got a Moltres, but I'm not trading it for a Ditto. I'll tell you that right now. No. No, 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 no. Oh, I found a uh, hidden super potion in the uh, underground path. Ooh. Just randomly clicking A while I walk through. I, I do that every time I walk through one of those paths. I'm constantly clicking A. All right. Um, now I'm in that following route before Vermilion City. I can get an encounter. It's a seal. I will take a seal. Dugong's not bad. Dugong definitely is not bad. All right. I'm going to go get this encounter to the right of Vermilion City. And then I'm going to go. Seal I will definitely train up because it's got headbutt. Mm -hmm. So. And, and it'll it learns... learn Aurora Beam pretty early, I think. All right, I'm gonna switch out and put it to sleep. That is species. Uh, my first encounter over here was a Geodude. I have a Graveler. So no thank you, uh, sir. Sleep powder. It didn't affect seal. That's some bullshit. <laughs> All right, it worked that time. 
Come on, give me an encounter Go, that's not Poke a Pokeball. I got a great ball. I'm going to use it. It's a Rhyhorn. That is the new Pokemon. Yay, I got the seal. What do I uh, nickname the seal? Uh, uh, name it Rose. I am not. <laughs> Why? How, how do you spell Narwhal? Uh, G N A R. It is with a G. No, it's not with a G. It's not N A R W H A L. I think. Okay, that, that, that's what I was gonna put. I, I was thinking. I was thinking Nar like gnarly. <laughs> gnarly, dude. Gnarly. I was gonna say name it Rose, like you know, Kiss from a Rose by Seal. Oh. Or like Rose from the Titanic. Yeah. She probably saw some seals. I'm sure. <laughs> you know, floating out Whoa, there. Oh, that in the dude water. wasn't even facing the right direction, and he saw me. He's got eyes on the back of his head, bro. Like he was literally facing to the south, and like he's got the Byakugan. Apparently. <laughs> You're in range. There's just like some kind of glitch in the in the system here. The Matrix. Alright, uh, Rhyhorn finally stayed in the to, ball. I'm waiting to find, like, a uh, experience here. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? <coughs> God damn. Yeah, it would be. I think maybe it was in Crystal or Fire Red I had two Lit. experience shares. Um, when I was doing, I think, I want to say it was Ruby and Sapphire with uh, Geek. Uh, I think at one point I had, like, three experience shares. Yeah, shit's wild. Yeah, at that point, like your your experience is being split up so much that it's not even worth it. Uh, can Rhyhorn learn? Cut. Because I need to teach Cut to a Pokemon. He cannot. I should not have released my Bell Sprout because I could have taught it to that even though it was dead. That's uh, true. I mean, if something happens and like you physically can't get a uh, Pokemon that knows Cut. We can always just do a cut. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Nope. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna have to run out and catch something that has... Um, cut, that can learn cut. Alright, do you, do you just wanna like, pause the timer? Uh, yeah, I'll pause the timer. Okay. It's paused. Alright, we, anyway, we'll, pr we'll probably just do a cut here, um, depending on how long it, it takes. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see here. Let me write so, this down. Uh, I'll, I'll stop battling. Okay. I wrote down the time, just... Okay, I was going to do the same. <laughs> Holy spamoni. Oh, that's a nine tails. I know for a fact nine tails can't learn cut because I just tried. <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you mean I can't escape? Don't be like that. Let me out of here. I don't want to kill you if I don't have to. You're pretty. Uh. There, got away safely. Thanks. Uh, Farfetch can definitely learn cut. Should be able to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, don't die. I'm not gonna use rock throw. I'm just gonna use tackle. <laughs> One more. As long as I don't crit, which I'm using a grappler, he shouldn't crit. Yep, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, I forgot I can... We're cutting this, so I'm just gonna speed up. Oh my god, will you stay in the ball? Okay, cool. I got it. Alright, let me let me know when you're good. Uh, I'm just gonna nickname it... Cut. Whoop. Cutter. Uh, that could be taken bad. We'll just do cut. Alright. And... We're good. Alright, we are back. Jet uh, had to <laughs> find himself in HM Pokemon yes. that could learn cut. I found myself... A Farfetch'd! 
I'm gonna teach him cut real quick, and then I, um, I named him cut, so he's just gonna sit in the PC until I find something else that can learn cut. He will not be used. He is not part of the the gang here. Um, and yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and restart the timer if you're ready. Yeah, I I already started. Yeah. So. All right, <laughs> We're, that's fine. We're good. All right, let's get out of here. Sorry about that, guys. It wasn't my fault. It was out of my control. Yeah, and uh, like he said, you know, Farfetch's not on the team. Uh, it won't be on the layout or anything. No. Nope. And so he'll try to avoid using it. Yeah, he's he's I, literally I just gonna see, sit uh... in the back of the party um, until I find something else that I can teach Cut to. Let me heal up right here. I'm almost to uh, Vermilion City. I gotta go fight Lieutenant Soige. Thunderbolt. Right, you use Man, Thunderbolt. We could see you use Thunder Smash. <laughs> that video popped up on my suggested feed again. I was like, I gotta watch it again. <laughs> uh, have you ever seen the Pokemon spoof? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll, ha I'll have to send it to you if I can find it. Yeah. Nope, there's only trash here. <laughs> That's thumbnail. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Yo, this grammar keeps using to say All right, I'm down to the final four over here. Okay, so I know that it's in these two. Okay. Dude, uh, I'm, I'm not good with that gym puzzle. It just it. takes me forever. So ho hopefully if you just uh, struggle a little bit, Alright. I might be able to uh, catch up. Don't you wish that upon me. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby? <laughs> oh Should my god. defeat a magic carp. I'm probably not even going to battle this other trainer. I don't know why I even battled her. I could avoid this guy, but he's got. It seems you God damn it! 20 butterfree. This is like the worst kind of puzzle because like there's no indication of where it could be. Like there's no way to figure it out. You just have to I know. click it's on trash cans random. until you get it. That's the only thing that sucks. Got it. Thank God. God damn it. <laughs> I was hoping it was gonna take longer. All right, fighting him right now at the 50 second mark. <laughs> 50 second mark. I might be able to get into Vermilion City. I didn't fight a single person in this gym. No, I got poisoned. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, see, that's what I've been doing. I've been battling everybody. I have been, too, all the way up to this gym. Good goal, bad. Actually, Just treating it like a regular rocks. Let's Play. That should do, like, nothing. Those crit. This rock throw should hurt. Hey, that did some good damage. Hopefully I can, uh... No, don't like confuse this me. ...real quick and get into one more battle. Ah, oh, she's got three Pokemon. Don't confuse me. Look at Smeagol breaking through confusion. You can't confuse me. I've got the one ring, dog. The one ring. He rules them all. Yeah, I probably won't make it out of this battle before the timer goes off. Yeah, that's the timer uh -huh. right there. <laughs> Speak of the devil. What are the odds? Huh. Statistically speaking. Wow. You want to talk about odds? Um, This... Lieutenant Surge, um, named Tristan, actually has a Raichu. Oh, that is interesting. <laughs> oh, a Vaporeon. Luckily, I have a Graveler that he can't touch. A chubby little Raichu. Look at those cheeks. Yeah, Pikachu and Raichu are both pretty fat in this game. <laughs> yeah. You need that gore to you, though. That's what you need. Uh, there's so many people speculating that that's gonna that's gonna be in these games. I don't think it will. No, I highly doubt it. I honestly don't think it will. All right, last Pokemon's are right on, easily handled, easy money, easy gym badge, folks. Damn, it's level 24. All right, Woo! this last Pokemon is a Chansey. Hold this Aurora Beam for me. Oh, he actually held on to it. <laughs> um, got the word. All right, that's that. I am still in the battle. Look at that. We're just gonna get badge after badge after badge. One badge each episode, folks. That's what I promise you. 
one bad cheese episode. I hope you, I hope you can hold yourself to that. I probably That's won't be able a, to. Uh, a pretty tough one to do. <laughs> Alright, and take the Tunda badge. Alright, because I got a badge this episode, and I, I should get a next one next episode. Yeah. Yeah, like, literally one episode behind me. Oh, man, this TM he just gave me has Minimize in it. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> that's just did ironic, because uh, that's what you just got. Did you go to the route to the right of, um... Vermilion? Yeah, I caught a right on there. Oh, shit. Or not a right on, a right horn. Excuse me. This right horn's still pretty good. Yeah. Alright, I am done with this Me chick. too. I'm saving my game. Same. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe if you guys are new here. Um, any final words for the people, Jetpack? Um, no, just keep up the support. You guys have been great. I've been having a lot of fun recording this series. I think I've said that a million and a half times, but it doesn't make it any less true. Yeah, and uh, definitely time flies going by. Like When we record, we record in bulk. We <laughs> usually always record three or four episodes at a time. And like it's just like it goes by like so fast right you're not wrong but with that being said we're gonna go ahead and get out of here and we will see you guys in the next one peace bye